G'day, here we are at Pelican Waters at the Sunshine Coast. Pelican Waters Golf Club, Greg Norman yep. designed, um, changing the face of some of the golf up here, huge junior programs. Yep. Up here I think Drew said 60. Yeah, yeah, about 60, yeah. About 60 yeah. odd juniors, Grant Fields here, Tommy Wantanabe's here, I've done my traineeship with the Tommy. Um, so the guys are really pumping in. Grant is Cameron Smith's coach. Yep. Uh, Charlie Dan's here, Shea Wolves Cobbs around the area. Chris Crabtree, all the boys. Yep. Oh, look, J Mac. Great, great call, Steve. It's a really, really um, good track. We're, we're, we're actually a bit late for our tee off because we're too busy having a chat to Drew, uh, general manager, who's been here for uh, probably a year or so yep. um, and changing a lot of stuff. So basically saying that um, membership's like three grand, three, three. Yep, yep. And yep. that's a card included. Yep. And the range. And the range included. Yep, so that's that's not too bad a deal. Um, they've got a lot of deals here with accommodation, so yes. stay and play packages. See the Siebel yeah. right behind us here as the mower start yep, up. So they've been um, the Siebel's here, so they're doing stay and plays. Yeah. Uh, really, really cheap. And the biggest one that we had a chat to Drew about was a, uh, was a golf course pass. Yes. It was a four golf course pass. Three. I think it was four. Three. Three for 100. Three for 300. No, it was four for 300. Sure. Noosa Springs, Perigian, Pelican, and Twin Waters. Oh, yeah. 99% right. sure that that's exactly what Drew said. So there's four golf courses yep. for $300. Yep. yep. So it's way less than 100 bucks a pop when you're basically looking at um, here for about 80 odd bucks. Yeah. 70 yeah. odd bucks. Yep. Um, and you're looking at Twin Waters about 100. Uh, Noosa Springs is about 100, 120. Yep. So you and Perigian's about that, you know, 80, 70, 80 buck sort of market as well with a cart. So yeah. this is all with a cart. That's where I think they're gonna have a winner up here at the coast. Oh make good boys weekend away. Exactly. Look, I, I know the stay and play packages are cheap because uh old Dan mentioned it to me and uh, he's as tight as the fishes are, so <laughs> Dan um, the man. You know that it's a good deal. Exactly right. So because he's telling you it is. We're, we're we're playing Pelican, I'm gonna play off the back pegs, which is gonna play off the Forward or slightly forward. Yep, yep. Play off the blues yep. or the white. So you can see the, the two different. So when they have black marker event, you can see where so you'd be hitting from. We're on the black T block. Yep. Over that way, a totally different shot over that way um, to the whites and the blues. So guys, yep. we're going to play Pelican Water. Stay tuned. Yeah. And Beautiful course. You played it? Rip in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've played, played here plenty of times. Oh, plenty of times. Yeah, I love it. Oh, well, you should know your way around. I've played here once. Where but um, yeah, when I played here, it was beautiful. It looks beautiful today, too. Uh, we had a quick putt, we haven't had a hit yet, but uh, greens look mint, so... Oh, they look really good. Let's rip in. Beautiful. Rich over yeah. relaxo. So here we are on the first. First hole, I didn't grab a, uh, a I distance number. I am going number. to zoom straight past there, you can see the green up there. You got that bunker, you see that bunker on the left, what, about 2.15 or two something? 2.15 to the top of it from where yep. we are. It gets a little bit longer. If you go all the way to the back backs, it's probably something like yep. 2.25 or something like that. Yep. Um, straight down there, there's a lot, that's what I like about this golf course, there's a lot of room on one side of each fairway. Yep. So there's a, there's a lot more room on the right hand side of this so fairway. there is some bail out here. Yeah, on, on most holes. So yep. a little bit more room right than what you think from back here. Yep. But I'm just going to hit a three wood, hopefully end up with like 100 odd metres in. Something like that. And we'll, we'll kind of go from there. <laughs> Beautiful. But yeah, no, I've played here plenty of times, mate. You've, you've only played here once. Yeah, just the once. I'm looking forward to it, but... No, 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 it's a, um, it's a lovely, lovely golf course. That's straight out of the bunker, I hope. Did you see that down? No, nah, I didn't see it down because it sort of focused in on yeah. the gentleman in the buggy. Yeah, no, it was just down the left. I think it, it should be over the bunker, I hope, so. Yep. Sweet. Good shot. All right, the relaxed one. Here we go. We're here, so. Yep. We're about, I don't know, 20 metres further forward. Oh, bit of stretching. Um, who, whose question was that to? Yep. Jerry well, Manley. I like to just stretch a little bit. Stretch it out, mate. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm done be oh. back. <laughs> oh, jeez, anybody hear those, that crack? John Daly always reckoned the only thing he loosened was his thighs. Really? So he always did a couple of squats and a couple of things with his thighs. Nothing else. There you go. Yep. No, that's then, simple. So that bunker from here is going to be about a 200 carry. There's a, there's a lot more room out yep. here than there is anything else. So, for about the, uh, mate, you go straight over that bunker, I reckon. Yep. Aim it at the greenside bunker, the right part of the greenside bunker right there. Perfect. Oh, 
That is a perfect draw. Shot Richo. All right. Mate, you're here to play. First, first swing of the day, draw. Oh, let's go. So, here we are. Second shot. 98 metres, but yeah, you can see. You just covered that. From the back pegs, it's quite wide out here to the right, up until about yeah. here. Like you said, you do get some leeway out to the right there, don't you? Yep. So, I got 98 metres, I got a 54. Yep. Uh, pins on the front, a bit downwind. Uh, it looks pretty tucked, pretty close to the front, doesn't it? So, I got 54. I just want to hit a decent one because I'm going to grip down it and hopefully can get it to be kind of close. Driving the sun, I can't see that. Yep, left of it. Ooh, yep, it's coming down, coming down. Yeah, it's long. It's long, but it's on. So that's <coughs> why I was saying I didn't want to hit driver because my this bunker was in play. It was almost in play with the three wood. Yep. But I'd get too close, and my short game's not very good. No, you give yourself that what 60, 70 meters yeah, out. Yeah, the 50 meters sort of shot. Yep. Good shot. Thanks, mate. Funny distance, isn't it? Like, do you just punch one up or do you... I know, it's 69 metres, bit like, down breeze, pin so the front. Think, I'm thinking a 50, you just sort of punch it up in front of it. I suppose the good thing is, is uh, there's a bit of room behind it, but there is a drop off behind the back of the green. I think I'm on the green, but I've got the longest putt I possibly can. I would say. Sorry. And you've got an upslope just short, but 50 degree. That's pushing with the wind. That was the only bad thing, wasn't it? Because pitching into the bank, it was just going to stop. Yep. But weather's starting to come across. But hopefully, we don't get rained on. So Richo's just short. I'd be putting that one. What's that? That. So that's the Siebel. Stay and play packages in there. I've got the longest putt I possibly can have on this green. So. Into the grain, up the hill a little bit. It's a tough old shot. <laughs> oh, you make it look easy. Yeah, a bit long. Righty-o. You're right, mate. Probably the longest putt on here. It can't be much longer. I don't think there's anywhere else you could have got longer. Good, good effort. I'll take that part, Richo. Uh, that was good effort from back there, mate. I probably just had to go another foot or so. Yep. And it might have been really, really good. Good part to start with, mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. Good putt back there. Sun's out, gun's out, Richo. That's it. Have a look. Beautiful blue skies. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, the sun's out, mate. You've got to take those, uh, the jumper off for par for Richo. Be a great par. Ooh. Great putt. So you haven't had a putt yet. The greens are slick. No, no, no. The greens are very good, but I'll take that for uh, a nice little easy way to ease into the game. There you go. It can only get better. So, don't have to be too disappointed. Right. So, talking about the uh, setup of these first few holes, mate. We've yeah, played I, it quite a few times. I was just saying how much I like it because it's 340, 350, it's a short hole. Yep. 310, 11 here. Uh, yeah, 311 or so. Second hole. Yep. Third hole's par five, but you've got bales and everywhere, and then it starts getting harder, like 180 metre par three. Yep. And yep. then the next hole's water, water everywhere, then you've got another par three over water. Yep. So I like how it kind of eases you in and then hits you and then it eases up and hits you again. Oh, look, look, I agree. It's like Perigian. Like I said, that first hole there, I could have hit a hybrid and still had a short iron in. Yeah, correct. And that's why Which I Which does give you that chance to, like you said, ease in a bit. Correct. So here we are, second hole. 311 metres. Um, bunkers down there are short of the green in line with the green. Uh, then there's a bunker out there to the right of the green plus bunkers around the green. Now it's a quite a narrow looking green 
and it looks like the pin's up the back. So hitting here, I'd probably like to be a little bit more on the right hand side of the fairway or else you got to hit over humps and bumps and it's a very narrow green. So I'm going to try to start it somewhere at the bunker and maybe let it feed a bit right. So I'll basically hit it in line with where the, uh, the, the greenies buggy thing is. Yep. Just because a smidge on the right side is not a bad thing. I know you got to deal with the water, but it's an easier sh second shot. I'll hit that left. Damn it. So that should be safe. Yeah, so it's safe yep. in the left side of the fairway. The only thing is now I've got to hit over a bit of a hill and a mound to a very narrow green. Beautiful. All right, so the so the blue the blue tees for you are a little forward. There's the yellow markers there, but this is blue because it's been vet today today. Um, Two seventy to there. So you're just going to go hybrid right of the bunker. Yeah. So mine will be over there on a hill somewhere, somewhere over that side there, somewhere there. Um, Richo wants to go the, just the cart sign. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. Some lovely houses over here, so the third hole is straight across the water over there. Oh, that's so straight. Don't go in the bunker. Mate, that is A1A. Is that right? That is beautiful. That's where I wanted to hit mine. Alright. But you're better. Yeah, 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 I know. So, here we are, straight up to there. So on the drone stuff, you'll probably see how it looks up there, how narrow it is. I'm off an uphill slope, 86 metres. And it does look pretty narrow. A bit down like... breeze, but you're perfect over there, Rich. That's the... Because it runs sort of from there. It runs from side yeah. to side, yeah. So you hit across it a little bit. So I got 58, and I'm just got to make clean contact, I think, Richo. Yep. Now, is that so, short or long? Is that short? I kind of hit that all right. Oh, yeah, I can't quite see it. Oh, I think it's a little bit long. Is it a bit long? I don't know. We'll get up there and see because yep. I thought the distance was fine, but I saw it bounce a few more times than I expected. Yeah. And for anyone who'd like to know, yeah, that's Al's house over there. Backs onto it. Beauty. <laughs> All right, so I'm up on the green. Again, there's the old, oh, there's Richo. There's a Siebel out there. Stayed there before, lovely place. So Richo's got 55 meters hitting straight up green. Like he's literally in the perfect spot. I think he's hitting 50 degree. Same as he kind of did at the first. If it doesn't go too far. That's going to be fine. Maybe it's not. That's what I mean about this green, it's a tough one. So there's mine over there, and Richo's is there as well. Tough spot. All right, so you can see how narrow this is, very well protected with a bunker there. Now you come off here, and we've hit this and just go down into this little swale down into here. So Al's got a pretty tough little shot Not, from here. Yeah, downhill slope. Yep. Um, just needs to probably hit nearly that bank and just let it jump Very on. Narrow spot up there. Yeah, yep, from where you're coming from it is. Left of the flag's probably not a bad thing. Yep. Not really the best part of the game, but I just want to get really cute because up there you can go off on the other side very easy. Certainly can. Sit down. So that's the hard part about this. I mean, yep. that's, look at that slope. That slope's just running it away. Well, I'll take that. I wish I hit that there for the first shot, not the second one. But... So that's where we've come back from down there. You can't see the bunkers. There's bunkers where the Lamandra is there. Bunkers over here bunker on this side as well so you can go from bunker to down there to down there to down there it's a tough little spot if 
Richard's a little too hard, he's in the other bunker. Oh wow. Wow. It's coming down nearly with me. But, mate, that's a good shot though. That's awfully hard. Yeah. Good shot. So yes, when you stand here, it's, a, it's hard to sort of see on here how much that actually dips slope, away, isn't it? Slope here, slope here. Yep. Like I said, smart blaze, middle of the green. This is, this is uphill, left or right. Do it. Oh. oh. <laughs> so it's that an easy double. But that's the thing, you can certainly get penalised without a doubt. Yep. By not doing too much wrong. So I had 86 downwind maybe, yeah, for my short game it's not great. And then of course hitting a bad shot from down there. But not more uh, bend than what you think even here, it's not straight up the hill, is it? Well no, I thought mine was going to be very close to going in. Um, but yeah, this green, hitting it where Richo hit it was perfect. He just hit it a smidgen too far right. Sorry about the breeze if there's a bit of wind noise but it's starting to get a bit breezy it's just well protected over the back of this one directly over the back's not so bad oh it's a bit of meat left on that one mate yeah yeah i wanted to start it <laughs> i wanted to have some meat i know but that's the thing like, there's plenty of breaks in these greens and the greens are pure they're pretty quick they're potentially some of the farther faster greens we've played on in a little bit putting mate so as we've come back from 311 meter hole, that can uh, destroy you. Yep, yep. So, on the third hole? Third hole, par five. Yep. Um, 489 from where we are. Yeah, a bit different looking down here, isn't it? Because you've got all that water out to the right there. It, everything opens up here, but... Let's, we've got some bunkers there. So, so the, I, the big bunker, you basically got to decide how much you're going to, from here, you got to chew off. How much you chew off, yep. I mean, there's, there's a decent amount of room left. Um, yep. But if you, from the back markers here, somebody who can kind of hit it 250 odd, straight over the middle of the bunkers, pure. Yep. Um, and then up near the green, more bunkers and yes. more bunkers. Yes, it does look like it's uh, pretty well protected. And more water, so. Yep. Yeah, no, no, a really good par five. Like, it's not the hardest one, but you've got to. So where's the line you're looking at taking? Middle of the, middle of the uh, bunker. The middle of the bunkers. Yeah, middle of the bunker. Kind of like that. Probably a little bit further yep. right would be nice, but that's good. Yep. Yeah, we won't see that. It's gone no, over sit, the bunkers. Oh, you'll sit on the shot tracer, but yep. that was a little tiny draw, basically middle of the bunker. Um, that's the first part of the equation done. If you go for it, there's water everywhere, and I'll probably still at 200 plus in. So. Yep. Good shot, mate. Oh, I got a question for you. Go on. What do you reckon's the best part of your game? this usually like yep. when i was yep. playing what made you s such a good driver i don't know was it just it just came you didn't I'd, work more I, on I it suppose than I, I took up the game late and yep. so for me hitting balls is all i really cared about um yep. i wasn't always a good driver but i feel like the best part of my game used to be this thing um yep. it's starting to feel like it's that again but I feel that we'll you're see. one of the best drivers of the ball I have come across. Oh, don't be like that. But no, you know no, what no. I mean? It, it seems really, really good. I'm happy with this driver and the setup, so yep. I'll probably keep it that way. No, no, no. Your consistency off the tee is as good as anyone I've come across. Oh, that's like, good. Don't get me wrong, I haven't played with Tiger Woods or anything, but it's something that most people should aim for is fairways hit. I always feel, everyone goes, oh, yeah, got to have a good short game, and yes, you do, as you could tell by the hole <laughs> before, but... If you're in the crap off the tee all the time, it's hard. Yes, and that's what I've noticed a big improvement in my game. Yeah, yeah, is, you're straighter. Is, is the fact that I'm hitting off, my second shot's now uh, hitting off grass, yes, rather than trying to um, scramble all the time. Exactly. Beautiful. What was that? So it is different when you uh, come <laughs> yeah. down here. So th this is off the, what? The uh, this, is, this is off the, the blues. Yep. So certainly you get a different look at it. Um, from back there, yeah. I look at it and I'd have to go left of the bunkers. Well, you can go, right. the bunker doesn't look quite as big. You can go straight over the middle of that thing, just slightly left of it, you're fine. Yes, yes, from here. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. Yep. So yeah, the biggest thing is to not, almost not be in that bunker. I mean, it's certainly a penalty to be in that bunker. Yep. But My yeah. aim is that uh, 
basically the steps there. Yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Because you should have enough to cover all of that there, and even you know a couple of meters right of it. Is that a pure draw? Yeah, no, that bounced there. That was dead straight. Yeah, yeah, good shot. Probably wanted to go a little bit more somewhere. But... <laughs> oh, mate, it, it, it was yeah. just right of the um, of the steps that you were saying. Yeah, yeah. Actually, no, you're left of the steps in the middle, but right of the steps on the left. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So, beautiful looking <laughs> hole, some yeah, lovely is. houses over there. Very, very nice. Back into um, the wind, 220 metres. Yep. So what do you got? Three wood, um... Off a little bit of a down slope, Richo's out driven me. Yep, beautiful but shot. Back into the wind, I don't know, like that bunker, mate, in the front bunker's good, but then if you hit a dodgy, you can be in the water. Yeah, yeah, there's a bit of gun. Oh, there's there, right there, stuff there's there. some bunkers. So bales left, um, but I'll go, I'll try to go straight at it and see what happens. Because 220 this, back in the wind's probably playing 230, 235. A good one of these would be nice. <coughs> oh, bailed left. Yeah, just left. Yeah, That's just... probably not fun from up there with a short game like mine. No, but, but I went for it. It's probably going to be the right distance. Yep. But it's left. So at least I'm going to come up the green a little bit. Pin's kind of up the front. It's a little bit accessible. Yep. There used to be a bunker down there near where that pin is. Now they've just made it a big swale. So I'd probably rather be where I am than in there. Nice. So black tees back there, as you can see. Blue tees over there. Bunker is here. Richo yep. is here. And I'm just trying to get it anywhere down near it. You've got about 200 to 10, 205, something like that meters, 220 yep. odd yards. Hybrid, where is that? So I pulled it to the left. Is that left? Yep. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. No, it's right. Mate, it's safe. That's the thing. Bail left is all good. <laughs> you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Richo's ball, my ball. Um, yes. Mate, your short game, I will be fine. Um, yeah, disappointed about that one. But anywho. We'll get over Mate, it. Mate, that's a hard green to stick on your second shot, but Well, that's what I mean. It's narrow front, narrow, narrow back. Yeah. Run straight off into that little swale down there. I do agree. Mate, game, game man. Well, you give it a go, but it can certainly lead to some bad numbers. So you 47 metres. Go in. Sit, sit, sit. Shot. I'm happy with that. That's a good shot. Yep. Seven. Seven. I can't fly it there. Yep. Good up. up. Good effort. Mate, that's a good effort, very hard. If you have a look here, bit of a swale bunker, really narrow green, and this is where we've come from. So, got all water all the way down the right and down to there. Beautiful looking course, great Nick. I said Al left himself with a pretty hard shot because he uh, the worst just, yeah, just went too long, didn't you, mate? Somewhere there's fine, somewhere he is fine, but yep. back there. Yep. So, mate, yours only need to carry a little bit more and would have been uh, absolutely perfect. Yeah, like this is downhill. Stay still. Yeah, this is downhill. Um, could well have been in <laughs> if it was a tad firmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he no. run the risk of getting in the bunker. Oh, without a doubt. Good putt. Well done, mate. Thanks, mate. Downhill. Yep. That's going 17 
foot past. Oh, mate, if it misses that hole, it hits my feet. Yeah. See, so that's a building going on. See, your new house, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jackson's house is over there, and yeah, right beside it. Um, there is an Endeavour Prize home on the fifth hole. Oh, okay. So if anyone would like to live up here and maybe try your luck and buy buy yourself a ticket, support the Endeavour Foundation. Buy a ticket. <laughs> I love it. Sponsor Richo. No, I'm trying to help out. They do a good good job. Of course they do. So. But yeah, water all down the right, guys, as you see there. They live, really, the layup is over to the left of the fairway, in line with the green, because this is almost a half an L sort of shaped green. Richo for birdie. Oh, no. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, matches it. Mate, you actually play this golf hole like a player. Oh, mate, what an easy hole. Driver, lay up, pitch it on, make a putt. That's it. Good good hole, narrow. It's a narrow mate, green. Like to, to go for the green, it's a bit of a funny old one because um, if you do start to hit it a little bit funky. Yeah, because yeah, you miss here or you miss to the right. So you don't have much green to work well, with. Well, you're down that swale and you, it's nearly above you. So. Mate, and if you look at where it is. Again, it's almost like the second hole. If you hit it here and the pins at the front, it's very narrow. Yeah, yep. All right. Beautiful course. The holes just start to get harder. Get from some here. tickets for that house.